Hello, now I'm gonna show you how to take away a store point on a Crash Plan Pro E server. First, you log into your server. And after you have logged in to your server, then you go to Destinations and you go to Store Points. And here I have the two store points. And the one I would like to take away is the default one, since I, I don't want my server system to be on the same disk as where I store all my data. So, first of all, what you do, you click the name for your, for your storage point, and you ask it to reject new devices. So if somebody hooks up, they, do, they won't end up on the storage point. Also, you can disable the balancing from it, so it doesn't try to balance the data from another one to this one. And what you do is you have to migrate all the data from this storage point to the other storage points that you have. So then you show Migrate Device Archives. Then it asks you where it wants you to put the data. If you want to specify a store point or if you would like to choose any store point available. And in this case I just have one more store point so it doesn't matter which, which, which I choose. So you choose this one and then it will be uh, um, a, a task that, that runs, that moves all the data if from the default store point to the one that is um, uh, from the default store point to the other store point. So when the move of the data is done, the page doesn't update automatically. You have to go to another page and back. And then you go to store point again. Here we can see that uh, the data has been moved from the default store point to uh, my external store point. And after that, we can go in here and we can remove the store point. If you cannot remove the store point, probably you have some deleted data still on the store point. And then you will have an error message that says that, that uh, it can't, can't be taken away. So if you have something in cold storage, then you need to clear the cold storage first. Otherwise it, it can't be taken away. And now I only have one store point. It's my external USB stick. That's it.